All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, the man, the myth, the legend, the czar of 2K, man. He dropped bombs on the other day, man. I, I was a little bit late getting into it. I'm on call at work right now, so I, I got to get these videos whenever videos out whenever I can. But, man, he dropped so much knowledge in that video yesterday and two main things that we wanted to take away from it. We're going to talk to y'all about that today, man. So if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video because every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Listen, man, the, the, like, look. Zar had, he had a gameplay stream type deal, and he just talked about a lot of the stuff where you can answer, ask some questions, and he would elaborate on a lot of the things. Now, on yesterday, I was like, say goodbye to defense, but listening to that, to, to his stream or what have you, I was wrong. I'm telling y'all I was wrong. I'm going to be the first to say it. Bro, defense will be in the game, but it's going to be for a different reason because of how the 2K community does everything. But defense will be in the game, and it's just the way that it's gonna be implemented is it's gonna be different. We're gonna talk about that in a second, but the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go over these two video clips from the Czar. And uh let's just let's listen to these joints together, man. Czar, holla at him. Let me hit play now. And um rim hangs being the focus of the dead team for years, what purpose does that serve? Sometimes you wanna push the genre forward. And when they say stuff like that, right, what they're saying is is that not that somebody worked on that 48 hours for, you know, I mean, every day for all those years. Some things you got to build a foundation, then you got to build something on top of that. And, and then you got to build something on top of that to get a good feature. Real great features take three years, whether you know it or not, whether they tell you that or not. Great features take three years. That's just the way it is. So you got to build it. You got to refine it. You got to add some stuff to it. You got to get user feedback on it, right? And then you got to add with the add all that together. You got to fix your bugs. It takes about three years. So, you know, when when people ask stuff like that, what purpose does it serve? It serves to push the genre of basketball games forward. You know, and that's not the only thing that that tech will be used for eventually. But you have to have it to be able to use it for other things. So it's a good investment. And when it relates to something more directly to gameplay, then you'll be like, oh man, they should have did this, you know, whatever years ago. But you know, you gotta walk before you run. So that's why I was like, come on, Ali. And that's something that I wanna talk about, man. Like when we always say 2K should do this, 2K should do that. And it's like, we a lot of times they are trying to do it. And what he's saying, like, bro, with, with, with a good feature taking three years, I totally understand that because that's just like, if you got any job, it's, it's really inception, implementation, perfection. Those are the three steps and those, and that's gonna take you three years to get. You're gonna find, you're gonna figure out what we wanna do. Then you're gonna put it in the game. Once you put it in the game, you're gonna say, hey, uh, you know, uh, you know, do we like it? Do we not like it? And then you gotta say, okay, how can it be exploited? Okay, so, so like pushing in body ups. In, in 2K18, pushing in body ups, I mean, uh, body ups was in the game in 18, and then it was, it was what? People could exploit it because they would just push you off and then, and 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 then shoot a three right the next year it manifested itself in pushing or what have you but in 2k20 and 2k21 that's when body ups really saw you know a, a great improvement it looks like they're trying to re, re improve it this year or what have you because it really wasn't any really wasn't many body ups this year but next year you're going to see where they're going to say hey it is this is where the body ups are, are are gonna be pretty much perfected when they're talking about how they got the red zone, the shading and all of that good stuff. So if you go here, you're going to get bodied up, you're gonna get cut off and this is gonna happen, you know, what have you. But like he said, you're gonna see three iterations of the game or three iterations of what they tried to put in before they're gonna be able to perfect it. And like I said, it's inception, implementation and then perfection. So like, like another example would be what we're talking about with the, uh, what I think they call it inverse kinem in inverse kinematic, whatever it was, the IK that they put in the game in uh, 2K20, right? Where it was, what, the main thing is, if your guy was stand, had his foot on the three point line, then he, instead of shooting that two, he would back his foot up and he'll be able to shoot the three. So I think we saw that in 2K20 or at least 21. So 21, we saw it like that where where it, you, you hardly ever saw where you were right there on the line, you take the shot. It, it would count as a three instead of a two. Then this year, we see it where they got the leading pass and now they're letting you know the leading pass is something that's in the game and they feel like they have perfected it. And with that being the case, 
they have a button that you're going to be able to press for the leading pass. So it's not going to just happen automatically. It was a little bit crazy this year. It did happen automatically too much. And like I said, it didn't happen in in uh, in what what do you call it? In current gen, it didn't happen. But in next gen, it was something that did happen. And we saw that with people with it just happening and just being in the game, it kind of sucked because with it just being in the game, it, it gave the offense too much of an advantage. Now, if you want, you'll be able to do the same thing next year, but you're gonna have to press a button with it. And I think that that's the dopest thing in the world. Uh, so those are two examples of what I'm talking about when I'm saying, you know, it's like they look at stuff, they put something in the game, and then it's just kind of hot behind the scenes. They build off at the next 2K, and then the, by the third time you see it, they have perfected it, kind of like with the archetype. First time you had regular archetype, second time we had dual, and then you had, um, well, in 19, you had your dual archetypes and it was good. And then after that, uh, we had total freedom, but you still have these archetypes, so it's, it's dope. Uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is this, man. He's talking about the sprint bars or whatever. And because of the sprint bars and all of that, that's what that, that, me and me, me and Shake was talking about it this morning, man. Like, he called them sprint bars. I, I'm just going to call them bars because these things are going to cause a fight. I'm going to let him talk about it first, and then we're going to come right back, and we're going to talk about how that helps defense. Stamina badges, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hopefully those are tuned uh, rather well. I know the, the bars themselves work really well independently. Uh, the thing I love about the bars is decision points in the in your gaming, right? Because you got those guys that want to go for every offensive rebound, right? But then, now they're out of position in transition. Do they want to use a bar for that? If not, you know, you're going to hit that big and, and, and kind of punish them. Same thing for a wing filling the lanes, you know what I mean? Do they want to use a bar to get open? Does the defender feel like matching that? Or does he know he's, he's playing against a point guard who ain't never going to see him? You know, so can you keep three bars while your opponent has two? All of these little situations, you know, I, them people that like to stay in the backcourt and try to steal the ball and all that nonsense. Hopefully it will also encourage people to push the ball up the floor via the pass instead of the dribble all the time. So uh, it's some interesting things, man. It's, it'd be interesting how the community shakes out with that. But um, like I said, I just hope they give it a chance for complaining that they can't left right 35 times. <clears throat> and that's something that I'm saying, man. Like, this game is going to be a different game. I just hope that people give the game a chance instead of just being like the first day because just looking at this and, and how it goes, I'm piecing it together in my head with the article and all that. He's saying that, now, I don't know if it's gonna be, the, the article suggested that the sprint bars or the bars or what have you, adrenaline, adrenaline, we gonna call them sprint bars, the sprint, hashtag sprint bars in the comment section. The sprint bars are only gonna, they are, they might be, I think they're visually there no matter what so offense and defense but they're only consumed on offense by offensive players that's what the article suggested Zara suggesting that the bars are there and are consumed on defense i don't know i'm just gonna go by the article what the article said so it's just saying when you when you're doing things on offense is you're gonna you're gonna consume a bar when you sprint so i feel like this is gonna make the game look a lot more like a real game of basketball because it's not gonna be one of those situations where like in, in 2K, people are gonna hate this. Absolutely hate it from the jump. I'm gonna tell you that right now because you're gonna have some teams of randoms or three randoms or three bombs. Bro, they're gonna be out there with no bars because what do randoms do? How do they play? Get the ball, sprint, I ain't got nothing, sling it. And then the other dude is sprinting off ball, I ain't got nothing, uh, give it to me. Sprint, 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 sprint. Instead of moving tactically and with purpose in the game, we've gotten so spoiled by unlimited turbo that all we do is literally sprint everywhere. You miss that, miss smoke that layout, that's what happened when you got some interior defense. Uh, they, this game over with players, so y'all can just watch this. But something that you, watch, that you wanna watch, you see how T plays the game? and he's getting to the point concisely, and he's not, you. he's using the dribble moves, but he's not sprinting or doing anything. I'm looking, I looked at a lot of T gameplay. T only use, uses the speed boost once or twice. But what I was saying is, look at this right here. You see how I'm playing this guy right here? If the speed boosts are consumed on offense, but, um, but not defense, then it's gonna be tough on offense because you're only gonna have, all offensive players will only have three speed boosts or three, Zar saying, anytime you press the right trigger, you will consume a bar. Not not just when you got the ball, whether you have the ball or not on offense. Anytime you press 
right trigger, a bar will be consumed. Do you understand how that makes it so much more challenging for the offense than, than, than anything else? So imagine this, you are a center, your guards say, hey man, come set this screen, right? Instead of you, you gotta think about, do I wanna sprint and set the screen? Do I wanna save my sprint for the off ball cut? Do I wanna save my sprint for the uh, to flare out? Or do I just need to save it through this whole thing? That's gonna be tough because if you don't do it at the right time, you can end like, we love the sprint, sprint, sprint. So he's probably gonna sprint out the corner to the guard, miss the screen, sprint to him again, and then sprint to him again. Now you're gonna have nothing to finish with. It's gonna make for a great cat and mouse game like that, man. I'm telling you, man. Like a lot of times these guards gonna have to pass the ball. Cause like, look at this right here. I'm gonna make this dude Look, that's one speed boost gone right there, like already. Now, he might be able to play and do something else, but it's just saying that, yes, if you're a good player, you can probably get your guy to use three, three speed boosts in the backcourt, and then that's gonna make everything very, very even on offense. But the other thing is this, it only gives you your bars back on change of possession. From what I'm understanding, it does not give you the bars back once you have, um, once the ball hits the rim or something you get an offensive rebound you don't get your bars back so imagine those guys that like to just screen and roll the screen you know how you can stop them once or twice but you can't stop them the whole time because every time the ball hit the rim they get completely refreshed and then here they go with with the whole 14 seconds now it's like it's like you you stop them the first 24 then you stop them again and it's 36 seconds and then it's 12 more seconds and then it's 48 now you can't stop them the first 48 we already know if you don't stop them in the first 48 you can't stop them so what you can do but if the ball hits the rim and now your guard has to play with very limited turbo. Now he's got to go to the secondary offense. He's going to have to call a backdoor cut or something. You're going to have to use your head and be way more cerebral this year. So all those guys, this big thing in the 2K, IQ, 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 you're going to have to prove that you got IQ this year. If you go back to the, if you if they got these sprint bars on current on next gen and they're not on current gen and we see people going in mass exodus back to current, we know what time it is, bro. We know what time it is. You ain't got the IQ that you think you have. But if these say it's like Quavo said, man, these dudes that said they was nice this year, if you go back, then it's, it's clearly an IQ thing. A lot of people are not gonna be able to get used to it. You're not going to be able to get used to it because we've played 2K so long and the only thing we do on 2K is sprint, 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 sprint everywhere on the court. That's not real basketball and from what I'm understanding, they want a product that is going to more mirror real basketball. We saw in the video yesterday, Zara was like, yo, a lot of people play the game and it's like, our game is way faster than the NBA game uh, as, as compare and that's why because we sprint everywhere look at how fast we up the court now i would have to i would have to say shoot if i'm gonna use a bar to get up the court i'm only gonna have two bars so if he call a back door or something like that then i'm not gonna be able i may not be able to take it or i'll be able to take it i won't be able to finish right here where he's talking about if the bars are consumed right there when he goes for that offensive rebound he gets that board that could be his third bar so we're gonna be telling people a lot i can see anonymous right now Stay off turbo, stay off turbo. You can't be using your bars all willy nilly. People are going to have to use their bars judiciously on offense because if you don't, you're gonna be dead. And that's gonna automatically give defense uh, advantage because you can use all the sprints that you want to on defense from what the article is saying. I don't know exactly how it is, but people also gonna have to be accountable, man. It ain't gonna be no, come on 2K, come on this, come on that. Bro, you know you got, they telling you right now you got three bars on offense. You gotta use them judiciously. You gonna have to do what you gotta do, man. But the community gonna hate it because like I said, a lot of randoms, they play the game and that's all they do is sprint, 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 sprint. That's all they do is sprint. And I understand that that's how it is, but we are going to have to adapt. And I hope that we do do this. I hope that, that we're okay with keeping the game like this and that a lot of people adapt. And a lot of people just say, look, man, I, I, I'm willing to play a product. Like you said, we want to push the genre for Like I said, I love Zar, man. I already know. Zar, hey, let me know. Yeah, I know you're going to watch the video anyway. Hey, man, hit me up in the DMs, man. I want to chop it up with you a little bit, man. I want to ask you a few questions, make sure I got this. I don't know if I got it right or not. I'm just doing a guessing conjecture and taking what we have from the video and from that. But I would love to talk to Zar, man. I don't know if he's going to talk to me because sometimes they do stuff and they change the, the shooting and stuff. And I'll be like, Zar, you can't keep me from shooting that basketball. I'm going to shoot the basketball. Or I'd be like, you know, man, come on, man. We said the, the box was going to do this this year. And, you know, they don't. Like on current gen, the bots are viable. But on next gen, they just not viable at all. They just get abused so badly. But they're perfect in 
my career. So I guess they did do what they say they're going to do. It's just not implemented in the game mode that he has no visibility of or, or what have you. That's what we say, you know, in the tech world. Uh, I ain't got no visibility on that. I have to ask somebody. But like I said, man, it's going to make a great cat and mouse game. Defense is going to be off the hook because just by the fact that I got unlimited sprints on defense and you don't have unlimited sprint on offense, that's going to make defense be off the hook. Now, they may have to go in there and fine tune and balance that. But man, to me, mwah, that's beautiful because they, it would be really hard because in turbo slide, just imagine in turbo slide, I'm trying to keep up with you. And sometimes you got to sprint to the spot and then hold up. Y'all see my cricket in the background. This is why I make out the t-shirt. So, hey, if y'all want this shirt, let me know. It's in, the, it's in the store, but a lot of times that's how it is. Like you got to sprint to the spot and you got to use left trigger to stop. So, and even if that was the case, man, you could you we could we, we were gonna do some crazy stuff like I was talking to anonymous. I'm like, well, if they do consume bars on offense, the only thing I was gonna do is is do it like uh, I'm gonna press him coming up court, and then when he come across half court, we gonna switch. I'm gonna make him use one or two bars, then you got it all three of your bars on defense, and then we just gotta switch it up, and we gotta play like that. It's just like it, it may it, it, if it, if it's on defense also, it's gonna make for so many different cat and mouse my, mouse mind games. But if it's not, it's gonna make for a very balanced game because the offense. This is real life. You can dribble all day and, and fake and do this and all that, but. When I'm going to the rim and I try to finish and I don't do it or I can't, I do a power move, I only got about two or three of those in me per possession for real in real life. And even in my younger days, I go up with the ball. If I missed, I might go up. I got one more time to go up. After that, I need to go down on defense and rest. I'm going to have to pass the ball. I can't really go up three times. So I love it, man. I am loving it, loving what I'm hearing. The offense will be limited. The only the, the guards don't have to think about it, but like I said, you just gonna have to adapt. Maybe you gotta walk the ball at the court. Maybe you're gonna have to use ball protect more, but you're not gonna be protected by just sprinting around the court. So like I said, all the top guards, if you're still a top guard this year, respect. But <laughs> like like Quavo say, bro, if you change the if you if you was guard this year and you ended up guard this year at the end of the year, you change the locker center, bro, it, it's gonna be tough. He can, hey Quavo already told you, I'm gonna be on your. If that's the case right there, man. You started the you started the year at lock, and then you start getting cooked at lock and center. So you changed the guard, and then you was a top guard, and now you change back to lock and center because because you can't you you know what I'm saying? You can't do what you were doing in the next 2K. Woo! Quavo, Quavo gonna be on your why? And I like it. Anyway, I'm gonna be right there in the stream laughing too. Be like, yeah, Quay, Quay, Quay told y'all, man. He already told. But look, we'll see how many how many people got IQ and how much IQ they have when they take away your ability to sprint and just fly around the court at, at will. So, one more time. Whether you have offense, every time you press right trigger, it will consume a, 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 a sprint bar, and it happens whether you have the ball or not. So, your off ball guys, they got to be judicious. You can't just run out all the time and come down the court. Maybe we're going to have to use two guys or whatever, man. But anyway, this video too long, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. Let me know what y'all think. If y'all want me to do like a live stream and we just chop it up, man, let me know. But I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Woo, man, this thing looking good, boy. Guys, please.